How's it going, guys? Today, we're going to be going over another build for Raven Dawn, this time a melee build. I spent a large sum of money getting gear to be able to run a melee build, approximately 400k. So I spent the money just so we could look at some melee builds. I wanted to make a viable melee build because everyone is saying melee sucks, it's not viable. And honestly, in my opinion, if the devs aren't hard nerfing something or hard buffing something, they probably know something we don't. Honestly, melee, I believe is totally viable. We built this build. It does include archery, but it's hardly using the archery skills. Actually, I just put spirit rangers on just to test it out. We were actually just using blitz. So right now at its core, this is a melee build with a little bit of range. But honestly, during fighting with this build, you don't really want to get range almost ever. So I'm going to go over how this build works. It mostly relies on the warfare tree and it is a mostly auto attack build. We have spiritual which has wind strike spirit and haste. We have in warfare, the shield break move that enhances your auto attacks. And in archery, we have the quick fire move that does combo with all of the four moves I just mentioned. Quick fire will proc wind strike spirit. It will do more damage because you have shield broken the target. And that is probably your big heavy hitting combo in this. The idea of this build is to pretty much stay on top of the target and just spam autos in your moves and then pop your big move when you're ready to deal the big damage. It has a lot of lifesteal, a lot of sustain. I have tested it on morning stars, which were roughly seven levels above me. I was able to survive three morning stars at once and live. I went over to the gas. They were roughly my level, maybe one or two above. Um, I was able to survive with a bunch of them on me. We're about to go hit the sharks. I haven't even seen what level they are. I can't remember, but I believe they're 42 ish. So five to six levels above. And you guys will be able to see what kind of power it does, but I'm going to go over some more of these abilities and tell you what to do and go over the cards a little bit. So we're using Brutal Strike as our core attacking ability. It has a heal on it. It's very strong. It cannot be used in range. We are going with Guillotine. That is an Execute. The Guillotine card gives in an Execute. So we're using that card there. And I pretty much just hold that for the Execute. It does roughly six to 800 damage at our level for the target. It's pretty valuable for an Execute. Shield Break is a pretty short cooldown. You want to pop it on every single mob that you can at the start because it enhances your auto attacks. We are dual wielding. So we have a lot of autos, a lot of auto damage. And so using shield break as often as possible is huge. Feasting strike is your big heal. You pop that when the mob is not about to die and you're going to be able to actually feast a bit on them. Or if there's two mobs and you're going to finish one and utilize the buff on the other. Next, we have bull rush and fear sleep for the mobility, also for CC. So these are pretty big in PVP. I changed this over to use the circle card. So it locks people into a circle. I also... Switched over from Earthquake to Chains for PvP so that we could snare and slow people. I believe we're also using the card for the extra slow. So all of that holds down targets pretty well. I did a lot of PvP with it yesterday off stream. We went over to the Minotaur maze and I wiped that place. So it was working pretty good. The only time I died was right after killing one person. We went on another person at 30% and it was a close fight. So the, the build's working pretty well to delete people. And we're not gear crutching or anything. I actually don't. I, I said I spent 400k on gear, but that was literally buying the gear from scratch and infusing it from scratch. So we got it to purple, which is not very hard, like not very far. My other gear is ascendant and heroic, right? We had fully ascendant at this level. And I, I think we still had, we had the two heroic weapons at this level. So right now we're using T3 purple. We went mostly impact, which was a bad choice because we're not using crit on this build. So the stat priority on this build, I went with cloth. I'm sure you could go leather. If you went leather, impact would probably work really well. But as a cloth set, I think I would probably switch this over to weapon power or haste. Other than that, I don't know what else I would run. Someone was saying that wisdom helps your heals. We tested it. It does not. So don't go with wisdom. We put wisdom on our weapons and that does absolutely nothing for us. We just tested if wisdom affects healing due to some of these leech effects it does not do any effect so wisdom and healing power affects shields it affects heals from the spiritual or holy tree for example and and i think protection uh, has a couple but these moves scale off weapon power only and the healing power does not affect so don't bother with wisdom in any way shape or form in this build if you can avoid it so dex helps that's lower on the stat priority i would say stat priority is might dex Vitality, maybe vitality above the decks. Now that I'm because I went vitality gear and I don't regret that. Like vitality is just a good stat. Um, here's my stat distribution. You want to aim for around 40 haste. You can use the haste food to try and reach those thresholds if you want. 
but past 40 haste right now at this level starts to really lose its value. So you don't want to go too far into the haste. We're looking at a 0.79 attack speed by default. Currently, I don't know if we have our haste food on. We don't. So we're going to eat that and it should bring us up to 41, which puts us at 0.77. I think past this value doesn't give you a ton. So I'm pretty sure that covers the stats on this build. And we kind of sidetracked off some of these abilities. So I'll go ahead and finish with some of the, the archetype abilities real quick before we end looking at these. Quick fire is huge. It's one of our big cooldowns of 30 seconds. You want to combo that always with shield break. Everything else is optional. So like it's really, it's, it does really well with wind strike spirit, but a lot of mobs don't even survive that combo. So sometimes I'll pop wind strike and haste off of the cooldown, but you just never really want to use quick fire without using shield break and feasting strike is also an option. So always combo these two moves optionally combo it with feasting wind strike and haste. Let's go over the spiritual moves real quick. So card wise, I'm using extra barrier on this card. I'm using the reflect on air aura. And then for this, we're using getting a shield when we're using wind strike. And for this one, we're using the adaptive damage every one second on every hit for haste. All of these wind up being a quite, well, these two wind up being quite a bit of damage when comboed correctly. Other than that, I have spirit rangers. I'm experimenting. We were going with the blitz for the extra haste, which probably has more value overall in autos. I've been told precision shot is really strong. So we might actually use that as well. But we're a little tight on points at level 37. So this is the current setup. I may switch this around back to Blitz. And I might also go for Spirit Rangers and Precision Shot just for off cooldown big hitters because they do hit a lot. So yeah, I may wind up picking those up just for when these other abilities are on cooldown. For Concussive Shot, I took the two charge option to give us 20 Aether because this build does require a lot of Aether. Uh, besides this, that pretty much explains all of the moves. Um, we don't use Wind Arrow or Cyclone. That should be a given. Just throw those off the bar. I don't think there's anything else to go over. Build tested in PvP. It was working. It was working decently, like pretty well. So your biggest challenge will be if people can properly cut you, but you have two gap closers. You have the other one that pulls them towards you. It seems to keep them on top of you. And at the end of the day, quick fire is ranged. So once you pop all your moves, your massive big slap does hit range everything else you want to get in close you want to stay on top of them but for pvp it's working we can try and attack someone but honestly attacking people in the shark area is kind of a kind of a that's a jerk move but so i don't know because there's nothing to fight over here i'd rather go to a mine and it's more of just expected okay so these are level 41 these are four levels above us um not great so i'm gonna go ahead and see if we can pull off some combos i'll probably focus for a minute i didn't mention but this build does have four different defensives which are really good at keeping us alive. But we'll go ahead and pop the big combo here. On this guy? I don't know. Uh, we'll hit him with this. We'll hit him with that. I don't think he's going to survive, honestly. Uh, we didn't have Aether. I screwed it up. So um, one big thing you do want to note, this is actually good that I screwed it up, is you never want to pop quick fire unless you have 50 Aether. It, it hits like a wet noodle. And if you're popping Shield Break directly into Wind Strike Spirit, that is 100 Aether. And your move will wind up hitting for next to nothing. So make sure you don't make that mistake that I just made right then. The option there is popping haste in between. You can really only do that on a big cooldown because it's a one minute, right? And so let me uh, wait here. And we're, we're not using a lot of our moves here. So we'll do the big combo. I don't think these are actually going to survive the big combo. All right, that's a shield break. I'm just going to do part of the combo because it's going to die. Uh, but there's, there's part of the combo. It, it melts. Like you saw the 300s popping up. If the thing is strong enough, it you can get the full. Like I didn't even get Wind Strike Spirit or Haste in that, right? Um, that was simply just Shield Break and Quick Fire. Uh, it does it does a lot of damage. Um, this is just autos. This is just Brutal Strike with the auto attack and the Shield Break. So like just at its core, if you don't even have cooldowns, Shield Break and Brutal Strike. Take things out. I didn't even execute there. I'm not focusing very well. But here's a 44, actually. This will this will help. So here we go. Um, we're going to pop Wind Strike. We're going to pop that. And then we're going to hit him with the big. So this should hit really hard. Like, that was half of the channel, right? That's half of the channel that you could have done. And Wind Strike is still going. Haste is still going. So those buffs are like... That was a level 44 and we're 37. And it melted it. Uh, so that demonstrates a little bit of the full combo power of this build. It's pretty good. Um, and just to go over exactly what that was, that is shield break feasting. Feasting really just for the, the heal. Um, and then we're hitting uh, wind strike haste, which will give us 50 aether. 
and then popping the quick fire. So it's 50 Aether minus, 50 Aether minus. You need to positive 50 on the haste, then quick fire. And it does a lot. We didn't even hit our execute. Literally, the channel for quick fire didn't even finish there. Everything else is pretty self-explanatory. When those moves are on cooldown, you do want to rotate a lot of your like shields and things just to make sure you're not dying, right? We have two different shields that are pretty strong. You can pop some of these off cooldown with each other, right? And it still does a lot of damage. The, the, the build just seems to melt. So yeah, that's pretty much it. I don't know if we can get into PvP on this video. I think I'm going to run this build all today. So uh, if we wind up getting in PvP later, uh, I don't know what the plan is. We have maintenance coming up soon too. But if we do wind up, I'll, I'll post some highlights from us killing people with the build as well. Just to show that it can, can do. Because I felt pretty confident after yesterday's test. Like, it was working. So, that's pretty much it. Also want to highlight that this can be min-maxed a lot harder. I went over the gear a bit. But um, just to throw this out there, our gear sucks for this. Like, I went with Wisdom Weapons, Impact, with absolute, like almost no extra crit chance. So we have 6.7%, which is 1.7% above the, the bare minimum. So I have full Impact gear with no crit chance to speak of. And uh, we do have Intelligence Ring and Wisdom Ring, which do nothing for us. So if you were to min-max this a little bit harder, this thing would probably demolish. And also, this is only purple, right? So I think that speaks to the build a lot more also that we don't have very good gear for it and it's working as well as it is. Quick note about the build. We've been experimenting some more. I have now switched haste over to berserk and it feels amazing. 30 second cooldown. I'm not using a card intentionally. 30 second cooldown to get 50 aether plus, oh, it's 150 aether. It's absolutely making the combo just smooth. So that's first thing. And second... I didn't even mention the weapon types, but uh, we're trying out the crit. We're trying our crit with dagger because, because we have a dagger and a sword. The sword is good with the shield. We're using that for a while. I don't think that's a bad choice, but the dagger does also combo with the Hoghound Archer crit card. Um, so guys, that will wrap it up for the explanation on this build. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, consider giving a like or popping a comment in the, in the comments for the algorithm. I would appreciate it. But guys, thanks so much. And we'll see you around.